Today, I want to share with you a super quick way to make short videos that you can use on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, or any other platform. It's really simple, and the idea works across all these platforms. Let me give you a couple of examples. If we go to YouTube and search for motivational shorts, you'll see that this keyword gets 2,900 searches every month. That means a lot of people are interested in short motivational videos. Now, let's take a different example. Look at a channel called Daily Facts. It's doing well with short videos too. Well, the cool thing about this method is that it's super easy and you can start making money pretty quickly, especially if you combine it with affiliate marketing. We actually did a whole case study on this. We looked at a channel that was getting almost a million views and we found out how to grow channels rapidly using this approach. So let's simplify things. I'll guide you through the whole process because it's genuinely straightforward and simple. First, we need to use ChatGPT for this. On ChatGPT, there are templates available. You can find them on the left side. I've tried this before and it's not perfect, but you can navigate to the templates, choose a category, I chose social media, specifically TikTok, and picked a script writer template. So basically, I'm using ChatGPT to generate scripts, but they're not very long scripts. After that, I decided to experiment with it a bit more. So I went ahead and started typing, I want you to create some quotes about love heartbreak, and friendship in the following style. Please can the quotes be made up with two parts. The first part is to intrigue people to keep watching for the second part of the video. Example, first part, when you really love someone. Second part, you have to give them room to grow. Essentially, I'm asking it to generate scripts similar to what's already successful on YouTube and TikTok. I divided it into two parts and it provided me with all these scripts. After that, I asked if it could organize them in a format like an Excel sheet. That's great. Can you now please put them into an Excel style with the following? Theme, first part, place the first part of the quote. Second part, place the second part of the quote. It provided me with the theme, the first part of the video, and the second part of the video. They don't have to be lengthy. You can use this table freely. Now, if you're happy with what ChatGPT gave you, you can ask for more, like 100 or 200 scripts. For the sake of this video and to keep it short, I'm just going with what I have here. But you could always say, that's great, can you give me more? Once you have the scripts from ChatGPT, just copy them. Then, you can paste them into a Google Sheet. I'm using Google Sheets, but if you prefer Microsoft Excel, you can use that. I'll open Google Sheets and paste the scripts here. Now, let's go to Sheets. We'll have one blank sheet. Then I copied the table from ChatGPT. Then I went over to the sheet and pasted it here. Simple, right? Now for the second part, we're going to need Canva. It's free, so why not use it? Now open Canva, scroll down. If you don't have an account, create a free one. Then look for the mobile video template. It's perfect for YouTube Shorts, Instagram, etc. Click on it and it opens into a template like this. The first part of this involves adding an image as the background and some text. Let me show you how it works. If you're looking for something specific like a beach or a sunset, go to Elements and type in Sunset. You'll get options for both photos and videos. Okay, so let's use a video. Note that where it says Pro here means you need a Pro account for that. If you want the free version, click on See All and look for options without the crown icon. Once you're satisfied, select it and it goes over here. Now, at the beginning of this video, we noticed it had something like love facts or facts about dating texts on Canva templates. We've also got ChatGPT to create this video script in two parts. Come back over here to Google Sheets like this. You can see we've got the theme here, which is love. Up here is love fact on Canva. Then we've got the first part, which is when do you really love someone? Paste it into Canva. Now, for the second part, you have to give them room to grow. Okay, so what we're doing here is entering this first part ourselves because this is a template. Once we've done that, the next part is really simple. We've got our first part, when you really love someone, and we'll leave it there. Now, you have two options on the left-hand side. You can go to text and click on add a text box, or once you're happy with the first part, click on duplicate, and it makes a duplicate text of this. You'll notice I have a black box going around this. I'm going to duplicate that. For the sake of the video, I'll move this down here and I'll position and click on backwards. This is why we love Canva. It's just simple and easy to use. 
Okay, so I'm just going to put that here. So for now, this is how it looks. Down here, we've put our YouTube name or our TikTok channel or whatever, basically. So we've got this part done and we're happy with it. But obviously, we don't want the video to play just like this because it just doesn't make sense, does it? Once you've got all this part down here, this is known as the timeline, the video timeline. If we want the first part to come on in our text when the video plays, we right click here on text and come down to show timing. Then we can say, okay, we only want this bit of text here to appear in the first two seconds. Let's set it to that. Move this down here like so. Okay, we're happy with that. Let me just move this across here and we'll click on play. So that's going to be there. When you really love someone, it could be a bit shorter, but for now we'll just go with that. Then we want this bit here. So we're going to get rid of that because obviously that's not the text we want. We're going to come over to our spreadsheet, copy that, and we are going to duplicate that. Drag it down, paste that in there, and that's it. Done. Now, obviously it doesn't fit. So you've got two options. You can either extend the box along the bottom so it fits in here, or adjust the actual text. You can just shrink it like this. The options are endless in Canva. It's straightforward and simple. Do we want our text to be here, or do we want it to be in the same place as the first part? We want it in the same place. And then, similar concept, I'm going to right click here and go to show timing. And then we're going to move this along like so. So if I want to make this over here, move this to here, we'll have to go into that. Okay, let's go back to the start and play. The first part disappears and the second part comes in. It's about experimenting to be happy with it because this will be our template for other videos. You can easily change the font, text and style using these buttons. Font here, size here, color here, and even make it bold or italic. You can underline it. It's just a case of playing around with this. But essentially, once you're happy with the original template here, the next part is importing information from Google Sheets. And this is where the bulk creation comes in. Okay, straight again, simple on the left-hand side down here, we've got apps. We then click on bulk create, but instead of uploading it, we're going to enter data manually. We click on that. It's currently got a table, so we'll get rid of that one. We'll come over here on Google Sheets and copy this like so. Copy, and then we're just going to come back over on Canva here and paste this over into here. So we want to right click on the top part here. If you put it down here in the one, this will not work. And I found that out the hard way. So we'll right click here and click on paste. Okay, so you can see we've got the theme, first part, second part, and then we've got our white boxes down here. We're okay with that. We click on done. And then we've got the last part to do. So connect data to your elements. So what we need to do is we've got three parts, the theme, the first part, and the second part. Over here on the right hand side, we right click on it. And then we're going to scroll down to connect data, connect data. And then the text at the top is our theme. Okay. So I'm going to go with that. Okay. Straightforward and simple. I just need to move this bit down here really quickly. And I'm going to click on here on text, right click, connect data. This is our first part. Then I'm going to drag that back up here and I'm going to right click, connect data, and that's our second part. And then we're done, okay? So then I click on continue. And then look, this will now generate me 11 pages with all this in it, okay? So I generate this like so, it takes a second and it's done. This is why, for the purpose of this video, I didn't create 200 or 300, but the concept is the same. So now you can see down here, we have got 11 videos, all with our timing on here. And if I go into this one over here, let me go ahead and grab this one for you. And we'll just click, you can see here, look, it's different text, come along here. Let's go to this one again, they're all different. So I can go into any of these now and edit them and play around with them as much as I like. So this one here, if I can see, you know, the text box here is a bit big. I can just very quickly make some quick edits to that and I can make it fit. And the same on the next one and the next one, etc. If I want to change the background image over here, then again, I can do that. I can come to elements over here and I can search for a different image, a different video, and I can put it into here. But as you've seen here, once you've connected it, it all works really quickly. It's just a case of playing around with this until you're happy with this. So that's literally it. That's the easy part done. You can create 11, you can create 100. Depending on the number that you're doing, 
it will take longer. What we found from doing this was batching in pattern 15 videos at a time. It works a lot quicker. Okay, so you've got your videos, straightforward and simple. Now, most people at this moment in time would download these videos and take them over to YouTube, straightforward and simple. But what I'm going to share with you is, because obviously we like to make money with AI, why not take that video and put it onto multiple platforms instead of just one? So if I go to https semicolon slash slash we make money with i.com slash repurpose dash io dash platform review slash, there is this tool here, it's called repurpose. I've done a full review of this, but the great thing about this tool is, if you post a video, in fact, I'll show you, so let me come down here, click on the official website, and then sign up for free. Let me go to the homepage for you, so you can see. Now, go to click here to add your connections, and then add new connection. So, look, we make it easy to automate your content workflow, one post, on multiple platforms. And here's the cool thing, this is what we do with this method, okay? We create a video, we put that video onto TikTok, straightforward and simple. The problem is, a lot of the time, people would then have to download the video, go to a watermark remover site like Snaptick or some of the other ones that then remove that watermark and then manually upload it to YouTube or Instagram Reels. But repurpose, it does all that for you, it's brilliant. So let's come back in here, log in, and basically all you need to do is connect your different platforms. So you'd connect to Facebook, YouTube, etc. Well, you can have it automatically or you can have it on manual, so it's up to you. So every time it would post onto TikTok, it would then send that video without the watermark onto YouTube. You can have it sending your videos from TikTok to Google Drive and it backs it up automatically. Then you can have it going over to Facebook. You can have it going to Instagram if you want. You can turn it off as well there are lots of connection you can connect it to. So let me go back over here to connections. If I just click on add a new connection, like so, you can see you can have one video go on YouTube, it can go on Twitter, it can go on Facebook, and go on Pinterest, Snapchat, TikTok. You can even send it to websites. It's brilliant, but essentially that is how you can automate AI videos. And it literally is just a couple of clicks. So we're using ChatGPT, which is free. We're using Canva, which is free, and then if we want to take it a step further, we can use repurpose.io. You can try it for free. After that, they do have a paid plan. From memory, I think it's about $10 a month, something like that. So what are your thoughts of these AI tools? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more.